Hello everyone, I've recently been asked to pitch for an album, it's sort of um atmospheric guitar album, so I wanted that classic shimmer reverb sound, so got me looking into sort of um, some of the shimmer reverbs that are out there, obviously you've got the Valhalla stuff, which is cool, there's some really cool stuff in um, Guitar Rig 6 or 7, you can get some really cool shimmery stuff, but I found Linda Audio and it's called Stargazer. It's absolutely fantastic. It's free, totally free. It's a DLL file, so like we'd suggested before, what you have to do is copy that DLL file and chuck it in your plugins folder. So it's 64-bit, and I think they do a 32-bit, but anyway, it's a 64-bit um, plugin. Chuck it in your plugins folder, and away you go. Downside of it, it's only on PC, and most of my production works on Mac now, so... That's a bit disappointing, but I wanted to show you anyway because it's such a cool plugin. What I did, I recorded a D minor, um, a C major, G minor, um, D minor, F, and then a G minor again, but um, stuck it up the octave and used the neck pickup on my strap. Sorry, I'll get rid of the guitar. It's just just dry. Actually, I used a Marshall kind of plugin, but clean without any effects at all so just straight into an old interface I had so this is how it sounded okay not very inspiring whatsoever so here's the um, stargazer let me switch him on already it sounds cool that's <laughs> such a cool plugin okay this is how it looks And this is just one of the presets. I've only really been playing around with presets at the moment, so. So cool. Sorry, my computer might be crackling slightly due to, um, um, because I'm streaming, it's not the most powerful PC in the world. I love this, you've got your wet and dry, so that's the amount of verb going in, that's your dry signal. So you can go from something like really wet. Let me get something echoing stars. Let's have a look at that without any of the dry. So you can imagine that being a really cool sort of bed. But then you can start to blend in your dry. And then you've got the definition of the chord from your guitar as well, which is cool. But not only guitar. We're gonna have a look with, um, you know we looked at the UVI workstation, the one they did with Venus Theory. Again, my computer, sorry, I do apologize, because it's a bit, um, it's getting on a bit. I had to freeze the track, so I've used a D minor C and a G in the chord editor. In fact, I dragged in a G7 by mistake, but I've made it minor, just so it, so it fits the, um, the guitar part. Um, I chose one preset under their pads, that's it, and I chucked Shimmer on there. In fact, let me get rid of it on the guitar. You see I've frozen it. it that's, freezing the track means it won't use your processor on the plugin. It just sort of renders it as audio almost inside the DAW. Anyway, sorry. Okay, here it is. So, Linda Audio. And again, I think that might be the same preset. You can go for any of these presets, have a look. You've got your wet and dry the same way. So cool, so cool. I can imagine that in, um, it's given me M83 vibes. I don't know if you know M83. Um, if I just go back to my guitar part, the other thing I did try and do, can you see here, because I'm using reverb and it's a strat straight in, it's a little bit bright, so I've just taken off some top end on it, so just on the EQ. You can actually do that in um, the plugin itself with the high pass and low pass. So you could high pass, um, sorry, low pass it a bit. Um, also, do you remember a few days ago we looked at require? How about adding require? So we've got a delay along with the shimmer. Really cool if you want to make some atmospheric sounds. And I think on there, let me have a look. I think I'm using the freeze button. 
Yeah, I am. So, do you remember we looked at that freeze button? You got all the pitch shifting as well, which is cool. But, and the scale. But I quite like just the pure um, delay with that, with this choir setting, that um, oscillators working on that. But, it's a great plugin. Really cool. I can't, you know, free, if you're on PC, it's a free plugin. It's great. Really cool. And as I say, so far, I've just been experimenting actually purely with the presets, adjusting the wet and dry. That's what I'm sort of going for at the moment. But when I'm on my PC, I will be using it a lot. It's just a shame it's not on Mac because I think it's so cool. Anyway, I hope that helps.